Let's take a look at the intermolecular forces for acetone. So for acetone, this is a molecular compound, and the question we first need to ask is, do we have any ions present? Since there's no negative or positive up here, we don't have ions present, so no, no ions present. We can go to the next part here, and we can just get rid of this. So we ask, are there any polar molecules present? So is acetone a polar molecule? It's helpful to look at the Lewis structure for acetone to figure that out. And we can see we have this oxygen here right in the middle of the carbons and this methyl group on either side. Since the oxygen is more electronegative than the carbon, we really need to look at this in three dimensions to figure out whether it's going to be polar or not. This bond certainly is polar, but is the whole molecule polar? So here's our acetone molecule, the red, that's the oxygen, white hydrogens, and then the carbons, those are the gray or the black there. So we can see that the shape, we have that oxygen on top. Oxygen's more electronegative. So we'd expect that this would be a polar molecule, that we'd have a more negative side on the top where the oxygen is. Let's take a look at the electrostatic surface of the molecule. And there it is, that red, this is more negative down here with these hydrogens, more positive. So acetone is a polar molecule. So yes, we do have a polar molecule. Next, we need to check if there are hydrogen atoms that are bonded to fluorine, oxygen, or nitrogen. And there aren't any, so we don't have hydrogen bonding. We do have dipole-dipole interactions, and that's because acetone's a polar molecule. So for acetone, we have dipole-dipole forces, and like all molecules, we're going to have some London forces there. But the stronger forces will be the dipole dipole forces. This is Dr. B looking at the intermolecular forces for acetone. Thanks for watching.